You know what? I think we work better as a team when you stay out of my way. I actually agree with you on that front, because that means you're away from me, too. Why did you even enter that fatal four-way? You knew winning would mean teaming up with me. And give up the chance to be a tag team champion? Even my dislike of you can't sour my thirst for those titles. Fine. Then let's not get in each other's way against whoever Molly has lined up for us. Then we should decide who's going for the pin, just so there's no confusion. I can be a team player. You should go for the pin. Fine. I will.
Where'd Trish go? Certainly wasn't expecting to see her tonight, but I'd love to see what she thought of our matchup. She peaced right after the match. We could never stand to spend that much time together. Didn't you see any of our singles matches? Not the biggest fan of me. But she came to team with you? Yes, she did. Because despite our differences, we respect each other. And we respect what happens in the ring. That's my point. You don't need to like each other to win. But you guys lost. I'm not saying we took it easy on you, but we're WWE legends. I'm choosing not to process that last comment. I don't want to ruin this moment of getting a victory over you and Trish Stratus. Fine by me, but you get my point. You two are as ready as you're going to be. Just try not to kill each other before the Money in the Bank match, okay? Fine. We both want to win. Maybe that's enough common ground between us. Maybe. Listen, I know I'm biased in terms of what outcome I'd like to see tonight, but I can't get over the fact that we're previewing a women's tag team Money in the Bank match. Women didn't even have a regular Money in the Bank match until 2017. Boy, what I would give to compete. But since I can't, I will say that my niece has been putting in the work. I will admit she's not with the partner I hoped she would be competing with, but as they say, you win some, you lose some. In any event, it'll be an interesting evening. And I'm sure the tag champs will be watching carefully. It's time for WWE's first ever tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. The atmosphere is incredible. Almost makes me want to climb up that ladder myself. Nobody wants to see that, Saxton, especially with three incredible teams vying to make history, including the unlikeliest of all, Ava Moreno and her partner. One of these teams who puts their names in the record books while earning a chance at tag team gold. She'll get sent out the hard way. There they go. And Okada's means she has the whole outside to play with. She goes back inside the ropes. Oh, 
certainly doesn't possess any lack of creativity when it comes to how to use the ladders as a weapon. WWE's first ever tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. The atmosphere is incredible. Almost makes me want to climb up that ladder myself. Nobody wants to see that, Saxton, especially with three incredible teams vying to make history, including the unlikeliest of them all. Ava Marie. One of these teams will etch their names in the record books while earning a chance at tag team gold. Speculation. We finally know the winners of the first ever tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. Wonder what Asuka and Tamina think about all this. They're confident champions. This is no real threat to them. I'm not sure the briefcase holders are on the same page. Hopefully, they can get it together enough to cash in that contract. We'll see. So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash-in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides. Holding the money in the bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky, too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, 
politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm not playing your games. Fine. But I'm not cashing in this contract with a partner I don't trust to get the job done. We'll have this conversation again later. If it is a Miss Sneaky, I would say I didn't see you coming, but I totally did. Feel like showing me you're more than just a goody two-shoes by proving you can play dirty? Fine. But only because I want to get this cash in on the road. Not because I need to prove myself to you. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official. Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the insurgent rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in her step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. Ah, look at this. Target in the yard now. Ah, oh, it didn't go as planned there. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Up and down, what a gourd buster. Boom! Shotzi isn't being given any room to recover. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. Brutality. can shatter a jump. You can't take much more of this. This is a very dangerous situation now. Shotzi might be able to start mounting something here. Maybe Shotzi's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. <laughs> Saw that one coming, took advantage. Next strike. And she can't find a response for this assault. She has to rely on her instincts to turn things around. The Irish curse. Rip cord. Can Shotzi survive this? That's gotta be it. Two. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Happy now? See? I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash-in. Fine. 
I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order, and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst. The red-hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no-disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. She saw that one coming. And what a maneuver we just saw there. He bangs the offense. move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Holy meet the barricade. Back suplex onto the barricade. Shotzi is really falling behind. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. Dangerous intentions in her mind right now. <laughs> Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Once she gets going with that kendo stick, this match could be over real fast. Climbs back inside. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. 
Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Look at it capitalize. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. Unexpected. You defending me in the ring? Certainly was. I was talking about Raquel. We're tag team partners. It's not like I don't like you. You have literally told me before that you don't like me, Ava. Fair point. But I didn't know you. You were just some new girl coming in to take my spot. I wasn't trying to take anyone's spot. I was trying to start my career. Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me, and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? It certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kind of mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I do not. Well, this is not great. We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness. But both of you, save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly! Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again.
After a shocking turn of events, Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. Uses the edge of the knee. Up and down, what a gourd buster. And the knee. She's beginning to flag a little. A lot of energy left. Fresh target attack. She's in about as good a position as you could hope to be still. Oh, my God. Just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. STO takedown. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. She scores big with the counter. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. That just reverberated. Shotzi ducks. Nails a discus form. This could be the moment that officially puts the briefcase in the hands of Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen Money in the Bank briefcase. It said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. This match is over. Well, it's over, but that's probably not the ending Shotzi and Raquel had in mind. And the ownership of the Money in the Bank briefcase is officially returned to the original winners. Hopefully now they can put this behind them and officially set their sights on cashing in for the Tag Team Championships. And at the very least, I bet they'll keep better track of the briefcase from now on. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> and look how far you've come. Got the timing right this time and the ref didn't see a thing. If you had used the chair that fast in our match, I would have been done. I will admit, fighting a little dirty is a good time. You may have had a point. That's my girl. Knew there was a little rebel in you, LJ. And now that's settled, we still need to decide how we're cashing in our briefcase. Our? Nice. And it's about time we finally have this conversation. But who gets to decide how we do it? You want to face me in the ring again? Whoever wins gets to call the shots. I'm ready. Nah, not when I'm starting to think you might not be the worst person ever. Generous. <laughs> Let's take out our aggression on other people who are arguably worse than you. A beat the clock challenge. One of us takes Raquel, one of us takes Shotzi. Whoever wins faster gets to decide how we cash in. I love it. I'll face Shotzi. Then I'll take Raquel. Best of luck, partner.
After reacquiring their stolen briefcase in a tag team match, Ava Moreno's partner is now facing Shotzi one-on-one, -on -one, while earlier tonight, Ava took on Raquel Rodriguez. Maybe they wanted to teach Raquel and Shotzi individual lessons about stealing. But it's like something other than morality is a play here, especially since these teammates have decided to turn this into a beat-the-clock challenge. And Ava's already set a tough time to beat at 3 minutes and 47 seconds. Ah, look at this. Serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Things taking a turn for her now. She can withstand the punishment, though. And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. What a shot! Knife edge chop! Echoing through the arena. Oh, a chop! That'll let you up. Stomping down! This is just establishing dominance. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Barrage and momentum is fading away from her. Yeah, she needs to revise her methods quickly. Out on the apron. Oh, this uh -oh. is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. A back suplex right onto the apron. She's in serious pain. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Made her pay for her mistake. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Come back from that? Cover! There's two! And this one is over. Here is your winner. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one. But deal's the deal. You beat my time of 347. Whenever you want to make a move with the briefcase for the tag team championships, let me know. The decision is yours. And I'll use it wisely. I'm good to go if you're ready to cash in the briefcase for our tag team championship match. You won the right to decide what we're doing, after all. I'm ready. No time like the present to become champions, right? But I've been thinking, as the first ever tag team briefcase holders, we need to make our cash in memorable. Something that WWE Universe will be talking about for years to come. I could not agree more. I don't want to just win the championships. I want us to be in the WWE Best Money in the Bank Cash in Highlight video. What are you thinking? I have two ideas. 
both guaranteed to catch the champions off guard, excite the WWE universe, and get us in that video. We could pretend to lose the briefcase again and accuse Asuka and Tamina of stealing it. That would give an enterprising tag team an opportunity to strike, especially if they found some extra security guard uniforms lying around. Interested? What's the other idea? Ever notice how the refs never actually open the briefcase to make sure the contract's inside? I think we can use that to our advantage and fake the champions out. I love the way your brain works. I'm down for either. What do you want to do? You won the choice, so it's yours. I'll alert management about our poor, stolen briefcase. Would be a shame if they found one of Asuka's masks by the scene of the crime. Asuka's mask? Isn't that a little much? Strap in, Ava! This whole thing is a little much. But see how you feel about it when we're walking out with Tag Team Gold. Another decisive victory from the Tag Team Champions, Asuka and Tamina. Just a second, Byron. We're getting some breaking information on a possible security issue. It seems that the reported theft of the Tag Team Money in the Bank briefcase has been linked back to the champions, Asuka and Tamina. Well, that's one way to maintain your momentum. They don't even have any evidence. They need to get their hands off the champs. What's going on here? That security guard found the briefcase. It was never stolen to begin with. Hang on, that isn't a security guard. That's Ava Moreno. And Ava's partner is behind the champs in the ring. This is all a plan. Are you kidding me? This is foul play. Call it what you like, but it looks like they're cashing in, and I, for one, think it was a brilliant strategy. Asuka and Tamina just defended their titles and now must compete again. I get being a little devious to cash in your briefcase, but pretending it's stolen and dressing up as security guards, that might be a step too far for me. What's wrong with a little calculated cosplay? I agree, Byron. When it comes to cash in in a briefcase, nothing's off limits. And besides, you still have to win the match. Oh, Ooh, face stop. The champ not looking great right now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Oh, no. Someone call the orthodontist. the gut for that effort.
And what a cash in. Its theatricality was only exceeded by the skill these two competitors showed in the ring. Does that mean these two superstars and champions are finally on the same page? At least tonight they are, Saxton. And it looks like the new champs are soaking in every moment of this championship celebration. And after what they faced to get here, mostly each other, they deserve it. 